Hi everyone and welcome to another card tutorial and today I'm gonna do a box, a pop-up, a card. The coloring of the characters will not be in this video because then the video would be super super long and I wanted to keep it at the shorter side but I'm going to edit that too and get it up for you but right now I have this pop-up card. So to start off with, I'm going to do some blending for the front and the inside. And I'm going to use this tape. This is some uh, low tack tape, actually for taping onto wallpaper um, that I'm using for my masking tape. And then I'm going to use some Distress Oxide ink uh, as my blending. Um, and I'm using the Antique Linen as my lighter brown and the uh, frayed burlap as my darker. I really love this color combination. Uh, this is a neutral but still very colorful one. It's not too yellow, it's not too brown. It's yeah, it's just up my alley. I love it. Um, so I'm going in with the lighter at the top and the darker at the bottom and then I'm going in with the lighter again and kind of blending them together. I'm not super needing to have it super super even because I'm using my um, distress sprayer on the kind of locked uh, set setting um, and I'm spraying some water on top of it a little bit away about uh, about um, a, a foot or, or something and then I'm just uh, drying it off with a paper towel and that will give me a little bit more um, Kind of texture in it and a little bit more life and that is all i'm going to do with the front side i'm going to add some add characters and a sentiment but first i want to blend the inside i'm using my fiscus trimmer to kind of line up the tape so that i get a even uh, kind of stripes on the card so for the middle part i'm using again antique linen and frayed burlap it's measured to actually fit the box and i'm going to put all of the measurements on the blog and uh, in the description down below so you kind of know what is what after making the middle part which is supposed to be sand i'm going to do a little bit of a c part so i'm, I'm starting off with the tape uh, uh, just kind of lining it up with that sand and then I'm giving this little piece two little borders one at the top and one of the bottom and I'm kind of eyeballing them um, but I could have gone back to the uh, trimmer to kind of line them up a little bit better. I'm using some Mermaid Lagoon Distress um, ink or oxide ink. Uh, mine is just new so it did have a little bit more ink than I was used to and therefore it got a little bit uh, kind of spotty. Then I'm using this beautiful uh, stencil from Creative Smile Stamps to add waves and I'm doing that with the Mermaid Lagoon but I felt it was a little bit too stark so then I'm going in again with the peacock feathers just on top everything just to make it kind of the stencil to fall back a little bit. And when that was done, I'm spraying everything with my Distress Sprayer. I'm doing that twice and my uh, I actually sprayed at one of the edges. So you can see at the top there that I got some ink that moved a little bit. I don't mind, but if you do mind, uh, I would add uh, new tapes and tape it off uh, before you spray. Then I've done a sentiment, my camera didn't record that, but I did a sentiment on the inside, says you're a treasure. And then I'm using the same stamp set for the outside, which says, hey, land crab. And all the materials that I've used will be linked down below and onto the blog. Now I'm gonna make my box part um, for my card. So I'm starting off with a one uh, and a quarter strip, um, one inch strip of uh, craft cardstock, um, latte cardstock, sorry, <laughs> by MFT. Uh, and then I've scored it at two, four, six, and eight inches. And this will be my kind of pop up box. I'm using some Be Creative tape 
to um, put it together. Um, and a, a very good thing, when you are doing boxes and they are this even, you can actually just fold them together to make them work. So you fold them uh, so you have the edge in the middle and then you just fold them on top and that it, it just makes it so much easier to line up, really. Then I'm gonna do some uh, one and an eighth strips cardstock of, or pieces of cardstock and they're two and seven eighths one and seven eighth wide, sorry. Uh, so they will have a sixteenth of an inch border around them when you add them to the box. And I add them just with some tape runner um, on all four sides. Uh, I do that because I want it to look like it's kind of a treasure chest or a boat or something. Then I'm doing this first strip, which is half an inch. This is the little pieces you put inside the box so that you can add your characters to. So it basically works the same way as if you would do one of those box cards but um, this is actually going to be a pop-up thing and to be able to uh, add kind of fasten the box to the card and make it pop up I needed two pieces two more pieces of cardstock that measures two by one inch and then I score them in the middle at half an inch and for the little pieces where I'm gonna add my characters uh, those are scored at a quarter of an inch on both sides just so that um, I have something to fasten on the sides of the box and for those I'm uh, adding to the bottom of the box I did a little bit of a tapering just because it's easier to put it into the box so yeah so I'm gonna start by adding the things where you put your characters on I have no clue what I'm supposed to call them uh, and here's a tri trick when you do this you add it on one side uh, and then you just fold the card together and it will automatically get stuck on the right just perfect position on the inside. I added all three of them and then I'm adding these two and these stickers or these uh, kind of tabs are going to be added uh, on the sides that are towards you when you open the card. And when you have fastened them, uh, mine were overlapping a little bit when the box is a square. And I'm fixing that because that would kind of uh, destroy the card make part. So I'm starting off by removing the tape on the piece that uh, is going towards the right side. I'm putting the whole piece about a um, 45 degree angle so that it can be up that way. And then I just remove the tape on the other tab and I fold the card together and you get that perfect fit for your card base automatically and it will open up. You have to really push at it to, put, to make it to land at the back, but it kind of works. So these are the little critters that I colored. They are all stamped in Craft Hybrid Ink by MFT. And then I colored them with my Copics. Um, they are the same stamps from the same stamp set for the uh, for the uh, inside and outside sentiments. But I do need to have something to put them with. And because they are going to kind of have their feet at the same height at the box, I'm just using a little bit of a quarter inch of a strip of the same cardstock stock I'm using for the box. And then I added a little bit more of that tape and I'm putting them just on the back side and cutting them off. I don't need to put them that much on the back side, uh, but it kind of worked out and I did have enough to add on the third character. I didn't add it on the third character from the beginning because I wasn't sure if I wanted to put him there. So to begin with, I want to put him, he ended up being in the middle because if I put him at the front side in the on the edge, uh, he would kind of fall outside of the card and I wanted him to be on the inside of the card when you fold it together. Um, I put it uh, on the 
backside of the strip because that's how the glue is. So I just put it on the backside of the strip that I'm using. Uh, different strips will kind of look uh, be be angled differently when you close it towards what it is when you open it. So I do try to look both at how it is angled when I open it and when I close it. And this is how they end up looking and this is how it is when you open it up. And the end of this is going to add the characters to the front side. I'm using some collage midi medium, which is basically like multimedia matte, but it is a little bit not as thick as the multimedia. And this is my first bottle and I really, really like it. It also comes in a little bit of a bigger bottle than a multimedia matte. But yeah, I really, really like it. Uh, it's super, super easy to add uh, to your characters, but it also kind of sticks really good. So yeah, I like that. I'm just la layering all of the characters on top of each other and finish off with this adorable little koala. Um, and I'm kind of hiding the end of the mast there so you can't really see where it comes from, if it comes from inside of the barrel or outside. But I kind of like it. So yeah, that is my card for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the technique. I know I went pretty fast through it, but you can kind of slow down the video if you want to and also um, all of the numbers and everything will be on the blog and i hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot for me if you have any questions just comment down below down below you find all of the details and everything if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button thank you again for watching and i'll see you later bye